Good morning, viewers. I am Dr. Ivila from Ellen Vista College of Business Management. We are studying database management system. In the previous video, we have understood what is database and uh, what is DBMS, what are functions of DBMS. As the video became very long, that's why I have to cut it here. This is in continuation to the previous video. And in this video, we shall understand what is data processing, what are data management systems. Oh, so we have a comparative account of data processing versus data management system. So although data processing and data management systems both refer to functions that take raw data and transform it into usable information, the usage of the terms is very different. Data processing is the term generally used to describe what was done by large mainframe computers from the late 1940s until the early 1980s and which continues to be done in most large organizations to a greater or lesser extent even today. Large volumes of raw transaction data fed into programs that update a master file with fixed format reports written to paper. So the term data management system refers to an expansion of this concept where the raw data previously copied manually from paper to punch cards and later into data entry terminals is now fed into the system from a variety of sources including ATMs, EFT, electronic fund transfer and uh, direct customer entry through the internet. The master file concept has been largely displaced by database management systems and static reporting replaced or augmented by ad hoc reporting and direct inquiry including downloading of data by customers. The ubiquity of the internet and the personal computer have been the driving force in the transformation of data processing to the more global concept of data management system. Now, what is file oriented approach? Previously, we have been using file oriented approach. Traditional, it is a traditional system. Since long, we have been using file oriented approach. So, uh, file oriented file processing system was an early attempt to computerize the manual filling system that we are all familiar with. Manual filling system. A file system is a method for storing and organizing computer files and the data they contain to make it easy to find and access them. Okay, File systems may use a storage device such as CD-ROM, hard disk, floppy disk in the early days we were using magnetic tapes and involve maintaining the physical location of the files. Physical location of the files. Even in our own home, we probably have some sort of filing system which contains receipts, currencies, bills, invoices, bank statements and like that. When we need to look something up, we go to the filing system and search through the system starting from the first entry until we find what we need. Alternatively, we may have an indexing system. If the filing system becomes uh, very large, very voluminous, then we can um, have an indexing system where it is written, whereabouts of the file is written in the indexing system. So the searching becomes faster. So we may have an indexing system that helps us locate what we want more quickly. For example, we may have divisions in the filing system or separate folders for different types of items that are in some way logically related. The manual filing system works well when the number of items to be stored it is small. It even works quite adequately when there are large numbers of items and we have only to store and retrieve them. Okay. 
However, the manual filing system breaks down. Okay, this manual filing system breaks down when we have to cross reference or process the information in the files. Here we fail, here the file uh, oriented approach fails. Okay, for example, a typical real estate agent's office might have a separate file for each property for sale or rent, each potential buyer and renter and each member of staff. Now you can well imagine how much difficult is to manage all these files, every file containing number of data, number of records. So there might be a problem of uh, real-time updates that leads to inaccurate, inconsistent database. So clearly the manual system is inadequate for this type of work. The file-based system was developed in response to the needs of industry for more efficient data access. In early processing systems, an organization's information was stored as groups of records in separate files. Okay, so the earliest business computer systems were used to process business records and produce information. These systems stored group of records in separate files that we have just now discussed. And so they were called the file processing systems. In a typical file processing systems, each department has its own files designed specifically for those applications. The department itself working with the data processing staff set policies or standards for the format and maintenance of its files. Programs are dependent on the files. File In the file oriented approach what happens? Programs remain dependent on the file and files remain dependent on the program. So this makes highly coupled uh, relationship between programs and files, interdependence. So that is when the physical format of the file is changed, the program has also to be changed. Although the traditional file oriented approach to information processing is still widely used, it does have some very important disadvantages. So, what are the characteristics of file processing system? <coughs> Sorry. It is a group of files storing data of an organization. Each file is independent from one another. Each file is independent from one another. Each file is called a flat file. Each file contained and processed information for one specific function such as accounting or inventory. Files are designed by using programs written using any programming language, for example, COBOL, Fortran, C and all that. The physical implementation and access procedures are written into database application. Therefore, physical changes resulted in intensive work on the part of the programmer. So there was an interdependence on the um, files as well as the <coughs> program as systems became more complex file processing systems offered little flexibility presented many limitations and were difficult to maintain. So <coughs> these were the characteristics of file oriented approach file management system. So file processing system has limitations also because these are files are here separated and have uh, isolated data. Another disadvantage, major disadvantage is that there is redundancy of data that is duplication of data. One data is stored at so many places. At the other hand, there was file, uh, sorry, data dependence. Da one data remains dependent on other. Difficulty in representing data from the user's view. This was this is another disadvantage um, limitation. Data inflexibility, incompatible file formats, data security, the problem of data security, transactional problems, concurrency problems means only one person can work with one file at a time. Okay, so this these were these are the limitations 
of uh, file oriented approach file processing system fine so what is database oriented approach the database <coughs> is a shared collection of logically related data designed to meet the information needs of an organization a database is a computer based record keeping system whose overall purpose is to record and maintain information okay database is a single large repository of data which can be used simultaneously by many departments and users this is major benefit of database oriented approach in file oriented approach there was a problem of concurrency only one person can work with one file and with the database approach number of users can work with the same database this is the major advantage this reduces the time uh, taken for completing a task means we share the time among number of users <coughs> the database is no longer owned by one department this is benefit that database is no longer owned by one department but it is a shared corporate resource shared company resource nobody would have uh, would have to wait for data by by another department okay so database lets us to share our data means one department when completes a task its data are stored in the database if that data is needed by another department another department without asking the previous department can access the data means the dependency uh, of one department over another department for accessibility of data has been removed is is removed with the database approach the database holds not only the organization's operational data but also a description of this data for this reason a database is also defined as a self describing collection of integrated records okay the description of data is known as data dictionary so consider part of a savings bank enterprise that keeps information about all customers and savings accounts one way to keep the information on a computer is to store it in operating system files to allow users to manipulate the information the system has a number of application programs that manipulate the files including a program to debit or credit an account a program to add a new account a program to find the balance of an account a program to generally sorry generate monthly statements system programmers wrote these application programs to meet the needs of the bank new application programs are added to the system as the need arises for example suppose that the savings bank decides to offer checking accounts as a result the bank creates new permanent files that contain information about all the checking accounts maintained in the bank and it may have to write new application programs to deal with the situations that do not arise in saving savings accounts such as overdrafts thus as time goes by the system acquires more files and more application programs this typical file processing system is supported by a conventional operating system the system stores permanent records in various files and it needs different application programs to extract records from and add records to the appropriate files before database management systems came <coughs> organizations usually stored information in such systems so what are the advantages of dbms reduction of data redundancies means if we have a centralized database there is no need to write one data at so many places this reduces the time this reduces the consumption of memory spaces and all that elimination of inconsistencies means 
multiple copies of data leads to inconsistencies so with the database with the one database it is eliminated data integrity if data is always accessed through the dvms the dvms can enforce integrity constraints on the data it means data in database is both accurate and consistent okay security dvms ensures security of data through proper access procedures means we strongly <coughs> impose the uh, highly secured systems to prevent our data from um, uh, malfunctions from adversary unauthorized users okay <coughs> data independence means application programs become independent of the databases means if you make changes in the application program you don't need to make much changes in the database means writing program is independent writing database is independent okay if you make change in database as uh, it was happening in the older days there is no need to make change in the program so this is very important feature of database independence of data 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 independence means um, data base becomes independent of its underlying platforms the dvms can provide an abstract view of the data to insulate application code from such details efficient data access a dvms utilizes sophisticated techniques to store and retrieve data efficiently this feature is especially important if the data is stored on external storage devices conflict resolution dba means database administrator we would study it uh, in the components of dbms database administrator resolves conflicting requirements of users and applications through best file structure and access methods access controls dbms can enforce access controls that govern what data is visible to different classes of users data administration when several users share the data centralizing the administration of data can offer significant improvements experienced professionals who understand the nature of the data being managed and how different groups of users use it can be responsible for organizing the data representation to manage to minimize redundancy and fine tuning the storage of data to make retrieval more and more efficient okay concurrent access and crash recovery a dbms schedules concurrent accesses to the data in such a manner that users can think of the data as being accessed by only one user at a time just like in railway reservation just like in banks and all that further the dbms protects users from the effect of system failures concurrency means number of users when operate on the same database is the concurrency okay so what happens in the concurrent usage every user gets accessibility to the one database and every user thinks that the database is connected to me only this is the feature of um, shared databases reduced application development time means clearly the dvms supports many important functions that are common to many applications accessing data stored in the dvms this in conjunction with the high level interface to the data facilitates quick development of applications such applications are also likely to be more robust than applications developed from scratch because many important tasks are handled by the dvms instead of being implemented by the application <clears throat> so uh, what are the important characteristics of dvms a database the important <clears throat> characteristics are um, non redundancy data are stored at one place can be access 